Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to our 3v3 composition tier list for Season 1 of Shadowlands. Now that players have had time to play and test out many different comps, we've just about established a meta. We've got some new compositions rising that we've not seen for a few expansions, and of course some of the same old compositions which always seem to do well in every season. Regardless, it's a fun and explosive season to say the very least. Now, before we jump into the video, the team here at Skillcapped wanted to let you know that we recently relaunched our World of Warcraft site over at Skillcapped.com. It's got a brand new look and our course system is filled with introductory class guides for every class from some of the best players around, including Chanimal, Maro, Zipai, and Zuniyaki, just to name a few. We've also packed in courses with arena commentaries and user reviews that you can watch to learn how the pros make their decisions in real time and help you all learn from your mistakes together. So if you're interested in taking your PvP game to the next level and starting your journey to Gladiator, head on over to skillcap.com slash wow and sign up today. Link in the description below. And if you're interested in joining our rapidly growing community Discord with over 7,000 members, which is filled with useful resources and quick access guides, we've also got that linked in the description. Anyway, back to the guide. So for this list, we'll be using our standard tier list format, but this time only having three different ranks, S, A, and B. Just as a disclaimer to stop this being a four hour long video discussing every single possible combination of classes and specs, we're only including the higher echelon of comps in this tier list. So those compositions that you're likely to see very often, the best couple of comps for each spec, let's say. Now, yes, we read the comments and we know that you guys love your non-meta specs out there. So as a nod to you guys, throughout this video, we'll mention when one of these meta compositions can be played with a non-meta spec instead. Anyway, kicking things off with our lowest tier of B, we've got our first comp, which is Shadow Play. Shadow Play is, of course, Shadow Priest, Warlock, Healer. This composition has the most success right now and earns its B rank with an Affliction Warlock and a Holy Paladin, offering the best variation. But again, you could swap to either a Destro Warlock or even a Demonology Warlock, although both variations will end up dropping down a few tiers. In regards to healers, Holy Paladin is by far the best, simply down to their strength right now, but Resto Shaman is a decent alternative, with Druid being the weaker of the viable healers for this comp. Shadow Play is a decently strong composition, revolving around mostly maximizing damage to outpressure your opponents and looking to score kills with the Deadly Mind Game's unstable affliction combo. Where this composition falters though, and why it's not higher up on the list, is honestly more down to the meta right now. Holy Paladins are extremely popular, which you probably know from your games already. Well, Holy Paladins bring Shadow Aura and fantastic mana efficiency, so facing a composition which most of the time looks to win on mana and also happens to do 100% shadow damage makes shadow play very hit or miss, and for that reason, it secures a spot in our B tier. Our next comp joining shadow play here is Feral, Fire Mage Healer, of which either a Holy Paladin or Disc is preferred. This composition, while very strong on paper, and by that I mean it has a Fire Mage, just falls a bit short compared to most meta mage comps. It's by no means bad, but lacks some key aspects that makes a good comp. For example, Ferals don't provide a mortal strike effect, can only stun two or maybe only one target per kill attempt, and are required to cast to land any follow-up CC. There are just better comps out there for both mages and Ferals alike, but alas, still a very strong comp nonetheless. The next composition finding itself in our B tier is Warrior, DK Holy Paladin, or Resto Shaman, best known as TSG. For the recommended specs, Arms and Frost are by far the best and earn this comp its B tier spot. But you can play either on Holy or even Fury, but of course the composition will subsequently be weaker. TSG looks to deal sustained high pressure damage and create setups combining the two class covenant abilities, Abomination Limb and Spear of Bastion with Frostworm's Fury. Blinding Sleet and Bladestorm thrown into the mix will make you feel like you're on an episode of Will It Blend. The downside of TSG, though, is that it really struggles into a lot of the better compositions, all of which look to exploit the DK and how easy they are to kill. Moving on to the next comp, still in our B tier, we have Warlock, Elemental, H Pala, or even a Resto Druid, which is one of the few compositions we've seen them have success with, albeit a weaker version than with a Paladin. This comp looks to combine the high burst damage of the Elemental with the sustained damage of Affliction, making use of the mobility of both classes to kite your enemies and reduce a lot of damage. 
While it can do very well into most caster comps and even most melee cleaves, LSP is held back from reaching higher on our tier list by compositions who can easily either maintain uptime onto the Warlock or lock them down long enough to score a kill. Nevertheless, a very strong composition that does well into most matchups. Joining Warlock Elemental inside of our B tier, we've got Cupid Cleave, which is Hunter, Ret, Discipline Priest. The recommended spec and what earns this composition its B tier ranking is Marksman, but you can opt to go with Survival, but the comp will drop down a tier, while with Beast Mastery it will drop down even further. Hunter Ret Disc looks to combine the instant CC and burst of a Hunter with the even higher burst and Hammer of Justice of a Ret Paladin and added damage and CC of the disc making for some seriously deadly setups. Ret Hunter's biggest issue though is mobility, with many mobile casters being able to take advantage of the Ret Paladin's lack thereof, making scoring kills very difficult if enemies rotate defensives well. Still inside of our B tier, the next comp is Turbo Cleave, which is Enhanced Warrior, ideally played with a Holy Paladin, and of course Arms Warrior. For those of you still playing Mistweaver Monk, this is one of your best compositions, but let it be known it will drop down a couple of tiers. Turbo Cleave is one of the highest DPS compositions in the game. The insane burst of enhancement paired up with the consistent pump of the warrior, add in Wind Fury Totem, Sharpened Blade, and Bloodlust, and this comp does unhealable damage. It's also really hard for most comps to kill. Good off healing by the enhancement and good peels from the warrior, but where Turbo falls short is in Cleave versus Cleave matchups, where the damage is incredibly high, causing the Enhancement Shaman's burst off healing to be a lot less impactful. Popular Cleaves like Ret Warrior or Windwalker DK pose an impossible matchup. The last composition finding itself in our B tier is another Cleave, Demon Hunter, Windwalker, and Holy Paladin, which can also be played with a Resto Shaman. This is a DH's strongest comp right now and looks to win with its high consistent pressure and instant CC, looking to score kills with Zuen, the Hunt, and Weapons of the Order. What holds this comp back though is its survivability. DH's and Windwalkers rely heavily on their mobility in order to survive. If a comp has some form of lockdown and burst damage, you'll find it very hard to live once you run out of defensives. All right, that's going to be it for our B tier. Now we're jumping into our A tier. Remember, through this video is the upper echelon of our tier list, so despite these comps being B tier, they're all extremely viable and very, very strong. And the first comp in our A tier is going to be Windwalker, Frost DK, Holy Paladin, known as the Walking Dead. The same as we've mentioned a few times, this can be played with either a Resto Shaman, Mistweaver Monk, or even Unholy DK as being the strongest composition a Mistweaver has available to them, but with any of these changes, the comp will drop down a few tiers. Windwalker DK is one of the strongest melee cleaves available right now, having not only super high sustained damage, but also great setup with the DK grouping up targets with Death Grip before then using Blinding Sleet and Abomination Limb combined with a Leg Sweep. Both DKs and Windwalkers do some absurd burst damage during their cooldowns, which can quickly tear through your opponent's defensives. This composition has had so much success, it's even rank 1 on the North American 3v3 ladder right now. The only thing holding it back from our highest tier is its survivability. Windwalkers are generally quite easy to kill if you can lock them down, and DKs suffer the same fate. Next up, we have a Shadow Priest and Arms Warrior paired up with either a Holy Paladin or Resto Shaman. This comp revolves around the high sustained pressure of a Warrior with the instant CC of a Shadow Priest to set up kills. While being great offensively, where this composition really shines is their defensive capabilities, with both Shadow Priest and Arms Warrior being known for their strong utility, tools like Intervene, Mass Dispel, Overwatch, War Banner, Rallying Cry, on top of just how many insane defensives this composition has, makes it difficult to score a kill against, especially for setup comps allowing you to draw out games and eventually win by either mana or just overwhelming pressure. What this composition struggles against though is straight up melee cleaves. Things like Turbo, Ret Warrior, Windwalker DK are able to just lock down the Shadow Priest and deal consistent high damage pressure, making the utility of a Warrior as Priest far less impactful. Also making its way into our A tier, we've got Balanced Druid, Elemental Shaman, Holy Paladin. This caster cleave is one of the best comps at dealing with melee cleaves. Not only does it have high mobility with the Druid's forms and the Shaman's Ghost Wolf combined with freedom, but also having that double hybrid provides some great off healing. The damage of this comp should also not be underestimated. You've got decent sustain from your dots, but also huge bursts from Stormkeeper, Earthshock, Lava Bursts, and Star Surges, which when combined into a lasso with some instant CC in the form of a Hodge or Root Beam onto the enemy healer, makes for not only a durable, but also burst heavy comp. 
while it's good against melee cleaves, it's also strong versus casters, as you have a lot of instant damage, which can be done while avoiding your enemy's spells at a pillar. The main problem Ellie Boomkin suffers though, and what holds them back from our S tier is setup comps. So things like Windwalker Mage or Rogue Mage can easily set up goes and lock down their kill target. The final comp before we move up to our S tier is Jungle Cleave. Jungle Cleave has been a staple meta comp for some time now. The high burst and consistent damage of both classes, instant CC from the Hunter, Dark Archangel and Fear from the Priest and the added freedom and off heals to help keep the Priest alive, it all just works well. The strongest variation of Hunter spec right now for jungle is Marksman, but survival can have relative success Going Beast Mastery will cause Jungle to drop down a few tiers though. Jungle is a very neutral composition. It can do well and has a chance at winning most matchups, but the reason we can't place it any higher right now is because of the popularity of melee cleaves, most of which can just easily run down your priests. Alright, that's our B and A tiers covered. Up next we've got our S tier, those of which inside are the best compositions in the game right now for 3v3. But before we start our S tier, if you're enjoying the video so far, a subscription to our channel here on YouTube costs nothing and helps us out a ton, so it will be greatly appreciated. Oh, and while you're down there, hit that like button as well. The first addition to our S tier is of course Rogue Mage. Come on, you didn't think we'd have an expansion without Rogue Mage being near the top, did you? Rogue Mage gets its S tier placing with a Fire Mage, Sub Rogue, and Discipline Priest or Holy Paladin, with Disc taking an edge just due to their added damage. It's worth mentioning that if you're looking to play specs like Outlaw or Assassination, or even Arcane, this will still be your strongest comp, but will of course drop down a fair few spots on our tier list. Why Rogue Mage is so strong right now is down to the burst of Fire Mage, combined with the consistent lockdown of a Rogue. Sub Rogue may have had their damage nerfed, but that doesn't stop them controlling the pace of the game, setting up for your Mage and Healer to secure CC. Tools like Blind, Smoke Bomb, and Shadowy Duel make this comp a nightmare to deal with, especially when combined with the insane burst of a Fire Mage. The Rogue can consistently look for Wreath Stealth, while the Mage can look to get Combustion back with Pyrokinesis. Not only does this comp have almost guaranteed setup, but also will force a cooldown with almost every go. And if you're ever caught in a situation without Trinket or a powerful defensive while Combustion's available, it's lights out. The next comp making it into our S tier is the strongest melee cleave in the game right now. Arms, Rep Paladin, Resto Shaman, which can also be played with a Disc Priest or Holy Paladin to equal strength depending on matchups. Why this composition is the king of cleaves is due to just how hard it is to score a kill against. There is such an obscene amount of defensive cooldowns at their disposal. They've got Sacrifice, Blessing of Protection, Bubble, Rallying Cry, Intervene, War Banner, and that's not even mentioning the healer's cooldowns. Oh, and on the topic of healer, this comp even has two of them. Rhett Paladin's Word of Glory healing is overtuned to say the least. So not only do you have all these defensives and utility to deal with, but you're also battling against double healer. Then for the most part, it's just a standard melee cleave. Consistent high damage from the warrior, large burst from the Rhett, and just solid overall pressure, meaning that you can score kills in stuns, win with overwhelming pressure, or simply dampen your opponent. Up next, we've got what's considered one of the strongest caster cleaves in the game, Elemental Fire Mage Holy Paladin. While Holy Paladin is by far the strongest variant, it's worth noting that you can play this comp with any healer that provides a stun. So Resto Druid, Holy Priest, or even a Mistweaver Monk can work, but will of course result in the comp dropping down a few tiers. And the same goes for Mage. This is the current strongest Frost Mage composition, but of course if you're not fire, it's going to lose a lot of its strength. But anyway, if I had to describe this composition in a single word, it would be explosive. You've got the insane burst of Elemental Shaman with Stormkeeper, your Covenant ability and Lava Burst, combined with the damage of Combustion, and the safe, consistent stuns of a Holy Paladin. You can kill healers in a single stun, you can go DPS and crowd control healers, you can kite, peel, have an abundance of defensives to rotate through thanks to the Holy Paladin, and overall, there just isn't really any weakness with this comp right now. Next up, we've got Windwalker, Fire Mage, Holy Paladin. One of the best melee, the best caster, and the best healer. This composition takes three of the strongest specs in the game and combines them to make an almost unstoppable comp. You've got the CC of a Fire Mage paired up with the ridiculous damage of a Windwalker Monk, which is bound to force cooldowns from your opponents, then you've still got Combustion to secure yourself the win. Great CC, Inhumane Burst, and even good sustained damage as well. Windwalker's biggest weakness is that they are susceptible to dying very quickly, but with a Holy Paladin's strong defensives and a Mage's peels, it makes the composition very hard to take down. 
Our last composition finding itself in our S tier is Fire Mage, Shadow Priest, Holy Paladin, also known as Shatter. You can swap the Paladin out for a Druid, but swapping out the best healer for one of the weakest will naturally cause the comp to drop down a few tiers. What makes this comp so strong is of course the burst damage of the Fire Mage combined with the instant CC of a Shadow Priest. You can kill healers in a Psychic Horror or Hammer of Justice, followed with a Silence combined with Meteor and a Combustion, or you can just look to win on DPS with your obscene amount of CC rotating Psychic Scream, Polymorph, Silence, and Psychic Horror onto a healer. And defensively, you're also very durable, with all the defensives of a Paladin and Shadow Priest, while Mages, of course, have their Triune Ward Cocoon. All right, then, that's going to do it for our 3v3 composition tier list for Season 1 of Shadowlands. We'll leave a recap on the screen now. Remember, as we mentioned, this is the upper echelon of our tier list. There are many different comps out there that are more than viable. These are just the most popular and strongest among them. As always though, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.